Right, the version of Lumina that you find in FreeBSD is a little bit old. It's not the latest. It's at version 1.4.1, I think. Uh, but the latest version of Lumina is 1.50 or 1.5.0. And to do this, you're going to have to download the uh, source from the Lumina homepage or in specifically the Lumina GitHub page. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Once you're on the home page, you go down to releases. And at the top there, it says GitHub repository. The rest of the page just shows you there's some pre-built packages available for uh, quite a few operating systems. The FreeBSD one is slightly out of date. I can't speak for Dragonfly or OpenBSD, but I suspect, and well, I know that TrueOS and Project Trident are the latest ones. Project Trident specifically has got 1.50. Uh, I don't know about the Linux ones, but I would imagine that they're fairly up to date as well. So it's really we're just concentrating on free BSD here. So if we go back up and, like I say, click on the GitHub repository, and they say Lumina Desktop 1.5.0. And what you need to really do is click on, I'm just having a look at this. Yeah, it just shows you some of the changes. Yeah, it's quite old. It came out about a couple of years back. The latest one came out April the 29th. So if we go down to the source code, and you can either choose a zip or the tar file. We're going to go for tar file, I think. Um, but, like, you know, it's, it's personal choices. So if we click on tar file one. Once it's downloaded, untar it, and then let's get to work on it. Well, here we are in the untarred file. You just list the contents, and you can see there's quite a few things. There's some subfolders, but also a few scripts. What we need to do is first issue QMake, and then that'll tell the build files what operating system and what uh, version of uh, Qt to build against. Then just type in make. You can type in make as either super user or normal user. It really doesn't matter. I, I, I've, I've chosen super user, but you know, as long as you have super user for when you do actually make install. Or make or make this clean. Well, we're going to let it do its business. It's going to take a while. Uh, it takes about five ten minutes. And here we are, uh, almost finished. The next step is make install. That will obviously install it. Put all the various pieces where they need to go. And if an optional thing, if you want to uh, clean up after yourself, make this clean. And there you go. And then that's it. You'll have the latest version. Uh, quite painless. If you haven't installed it, it will install it. And if you already have it installed, it will update it. So I went from a 1.4.1 to 1.5.0 just by doing this. And here we are the desktop. Uh, the wallpaper changes automatically. So if it changes in a second, don't worry about it. But yeah, we're using, ooh, I don't know, about 500, 490 megabytes. Considering that we've got a simple screen recorder going. And this is the latest desktop. Oh, I don't like that wallpaper. It's hard to see what's going on, but we'll uh, we'll leave it. Now your latest version. If we click on the desktop information icon, which um, I put there just to show you, and it'll show you, and we'll zoom in just to have a look. It's one point five point zero on FreeBSD, and that's it. Easy peasy. So install the latest version and enjoy all the benefits that that gives you. While we wait for the FreeBSD developers to catch up. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing. As this really helps me help you.